the rhythm and the horse got it. Listen closely, for in the low tidewater country of coastal Georgia, there emanates a haunting rhythm of the past. Its repetition could be long lost noises that once filled the tabby ruins along the sound, or the random tapping of shrimp boats bumping idly against a dock. But no, it is the call of the shout pulsating link to a bygone tradition that the McIntosh County shouters are not willing to let die. These five women and four men, ranging in ages from 39 to 78, and all related by birth or marriage, routinely demonstrate the ancient art of shouting to audiences young and old. Originating in Africa and transported by slaves to coastal Georgia, shouting was foremost a religious expression, but its lyrics also talked of freedom. The next song that we're going to do is Jubilee. It's a slave song where they were talking about being released from slavery. Come on, children, get around. Since 1980, this unique cultural exhortation has been performed by the McIntosh Shouters all over the country. On this particular day, the songster and patriarch of the group, Lawrence McIver, leads the singing with an old favorite. Then there is the stick man, Benjamin Reed. He taps out the rhythm for each song, rhythm that's born of something more than just staccato and motion. You got to have the beat, the beat. You got to have the beat. Then you got to have the rap. You ain't got that rap. You ain't doing that. You ain't doing nothing. It is then left for the women in the group to give the song its spiritual overture. It's a circle, quote unquote, dance. It's a religious expression, and the thing that distinguishes it from being a dance is that the shouters never cross their feet. Once you cross your feet, it becomes dancing. People could be ostracized from the church for dancing, but not shouting. Though appearing simple, not all can be master of these steps. You're supposed to move your feet a certain way. You watch my feet when I shout. It's on the floor, and it's along with the music, and you got to have that movement. If you ain't got that jazz, you ain't got nothing. You got to have it. <laughs> their diligence to save part of their folklore has not gone unnoticed. Already, a national endowment for the arts grant has come their way, and there's talk of the shouters being included in the 1996 Cultural Olympiad in Atlanta. In the meantime, they'll concentrate on teaching this tradition to younger generations. Well, it's important for them to, to remember, just to remember what, where they came from, how they got here, and the things that, that their uh, foreparents had to do to make it. It wasn't always like this. That's what I want them to remember. It wasn't always like this. From mother to daughter, from father to son, the ritual of the shout gets passed down through time. And while the song might be saying goodbye, the rhythm seems here to stay. Larry Woods across America in McIntyre. <laughs> Precision, grace, athleticism. The college step show can be described a number of ways. 
with cultural roots that stem from traditional African dancing, military marching, and contemporary hip hop music. Step shows have evolved into an African American art form. Most often performed in talent competitions, stepping has become a dynamic form of entertainment on the college campus. Right, here you go. 